Hey, MCC family. Uh, welcome anyone else tuning in. Hey, kids. You know, uh, almost every morning I start with a, a cup of coffee. And why that's important is it helps me wake up and it helps me not be grumpy, which is which is pretty important. So it's become a, a big part of my morning routine. Now, normally I don't really think about uh, what I put my coffee in. We have a, we have a whole bunch of coffee mugs, uh, a real a real assortment. Uh, most of them are just metric dishes, which Alyssa and I got when we got married. So those are kind of special. I have I have one special one that the church gave me, so I like using that one. Um, and then we have a whole bunch of uh, different ones from like stores or fun runs or that we've just collected throughout the years. Uh, but my favorite is this little blue one. This is my favorite coffee mug. And it doesn't uh, doesn't look like much. It's not very big. Uh, it's not overly pretty or fancy. Uh, it doesn't have any funny sayings on it. Um, but it's special because of where it came from, because of who made it. Um, so this blue cup and uh, Lisa's purple cup, which she uses for hot chocolate, uh, those came from Women at Risk International, the boutique in, in Grand Rapids. And why they're special is because they were made uh, by hand uh, by ladies uh, out of clay. And because those ladies made those and they were able to sell them uh, in the store, they, were, uh, they, they remained safe from trafficking. So that's why these mugs are special, which reminds us uh, a little bit of our reading today in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, where it says, but we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that this all-surpassing power is from God and not from us. Now, Paul's not necessarily talking about coffee mugs, uh, but we know uh, that when the Dead Sea Scrolls uh, were uncovered in the, caves, in the caves of Qumran, that they were found in clay pots, in clay jars. So this great treasure, uh, the word of God was found in, in just kind of an ordinary coffee mug, just in, just in these clay pots. And so even though a pot or a cup or a vessel might look ordinary, its worth is based on the treasure that's, that's inside of it. And so Paul's not just talking about, about a coffee mug, he's talking about you He's talking about me and the treasure that's found inside us is the love, grace, and mercy that we find in Jesus Christ. And so when you feel ordinary, kind of like this coffee mug, we have to remember that the treasure that defines us, that makes us, that makes us whole, that makes us worth more than than anything else in the world is, is that Jesus is found inside of us. And we're not just special because Jesus is inside of us, we're, we're special because of who made us. So because God made us, and Jesus is inside us, we show that the all-surpassing power from the Holy Spirit can work through us and that's the greatest gift from God and that is the perfect way to start your morning will you pray with me dear God thank you that you made me your power your love and your mercy all came together to shape me and form me. Thank you for Jesus. Help him to live in my heart that I might know you and that the Holy Spirit might work through me to show it all your love in my life so that I might be with you in heaven forever. And all God's children said, Amen. And when all God's children prayed together, the devil said, Bummer. <laughs>